and now the ducting's arrived as well. I'm going to open this, put as much in place as possible down here, and then take it up into the loft. Well, it turns out there's not much you can put together down here, so I'm going to take it upstairs. So here I'm just connecting the ducting to this, which attaches to the vent in the roof, and I'm just doing up this here to make it nice and airtight. This stuff's really easy to cut with scissors, to the right there. And I'll just finish off the cut here by going to the wall with these. So there's the length of the ventilator ducting cut off. I've got the attachment here that goes to the vent, and this end here is going to go to the MVHR unit. So I've attached this ducting to the outside now. That rectangular end just fitted in there, and that goes to the outside of the roof. And I've actually attached all the other ducting to the top of the MVHR unit here as well. So you've got 125 millimeter spigots, they're called the pipes that come out here. And this is 125 millimeter ducting, so it slips over quite nicely. And I've just used this zip tie to do them up to make sure no air escapes. And then going down here to the distribution boxes, these are distribution boxes or manifolds, they've actually got 125 millimeter spigots on them as well, the piping that comes out here, but it's got a rubber seal on, so I couldn't really fit the ducting, 125 millimeter ducting over that. So what I did is I bought for about £1.50 these plastic reducers which go from 125 millimetres to 100 millimetres and it was easy to get the ducting onto that and then I just used a Jubilee clip you can see here to do that up, squeeze the 125 millimetre ducting around the 100 millimetre ending on that and that's now airtight as well. But that's all I've got time for today. So tomorrow I'll be fitting the internal pipes properly to these distribution boxes and then hopefully it'll be ready to turn on. So it's the next morning now and I've attached all this ducting in place. I'll make videos about how I did that later. For instance, how I attached the ducting to a ceiling vent like this. But for now, it's time to attach these properly to the manifolds or distribution boxes there. And so apparently you put the gasket here, the rubber gasket, two from the end. So that's one and two from the end. And then you just put it in here. And then you get a clip to clip it in. That's the clip. Yeah. That's secure. Just do that to all the others, and I'll be ready. So everything's in place now. And I'm just going to try and turn it on for the first time. Dad, can you turn it on? Turned on here. And it's starting. So we should have air being sucked in from these three. One from the kitchen, one from each bathroom. And at the moment just blowing out through these three. One to the lounge. And one to one bedroom, one to another bedroom. And we're missing the middle bedroom at the moment. But it should all be working. I'm venting, of course, to the outside there. I'm actually sucking in from there. I'm venting to the outside there. Right, let's go and see how they're doing actually down there. How much air has been sucked in and pushed out. Okay, so this is down in the lounge. And you can feel the air pushing in here. There's quite a breeze there. And then here's the kitchen. You can also feel a little breeze sucking in there. So it all seems to be working. And now it's on its boost mode. So it's up at 50%. And so I've just had a shower. Everything seems to be working really well. I've just felt any air leaks. Well, I can't feel any. So I'm rather pleased with that. That's just half a day's work to do that final bit of ducting. So all in all, I think it might only have been about three days work to put the whole thing in place.